Welcome to Top Crew Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Hello, guys. Uh, as we have already discussed uh, almost uh, all the important topics for RT Part One. So now, as we have already uh, separated as per the definition terminology, now we have given two different kind of. Uh, you know words which we would be using in our radio telephony don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all upcoming videos the word mayday is spoken at the start identifies a distress message guys uh, i would like to explain you in uh, one line distress or mayday is a kind of thing just keep it in mind being a pilot i'm telling you guys like that could be the end call of your life that could be the last call of your life when you think about that when you think this kind of situation is there then only we use mayday guys okay so what i have understood as per my aviation experience till now like mayday could be the last call of your life so mayday is distress guys and uh, this is how we differentiate and the words pan pan is spoken at the start identifies an urgency message okay guys so the words mayday or pan pan as appropriate should preferably be spoken three times at the start of the initial distress or urgency call same goes to security guys okay you have to speak that two three times distress messages have priority overall other transmissions guys okay and urgency messages have priority overall transmissions except distress messages so this is how we prioritize as i explained you earlier like mayday could be the last call of uh, any pilot because that is uh, uh, that kind of situation it's not like 100% guys don't be afraid like uh, you know if uh, your captain is going to give a mayday call then uh, you should uh, like imagining this is what i told you it could be the last call of your life so i just want to explain you the seriousness of mayday guys okay and uh, in case of mayday if uh, you save aircraft passengers and yourself then definitely you are wonderful pilot guys okay so keep it in mind i just wanted to explain the difference between both of them so that you can get into your head so i was trying to make it easier so that you can learn it in your mind okay so guys this is how you deal with urgency and uh, distress so pilots making distress or urgency calls should attempt to speak slowly and distinctly so as to avoid any unnecessary repetition guys okay pilots should adopt the phraseology procedures in this chapter to their specific needs and to the timeline so because guys in that critical situation uh, you know it's uh, really required that uh, some sort of uh, communication or some sort of format we all should have in our mind so that uh, we can uh, pass information you know crystal and clear so that we can get help accordingly because if we are not able to pass the message clearly then it could be a problem for us that is why this uh, radio uh, telephony radio communication comes into picture and uh, that's why we are learning about uh, all these three things what is urgency what is distress and what is security and how do we use them and uh, what are their a uh, proper format to use in our radio communication in normal life as well as over here we most of the time we concentrate uh, rt exam okay but uh, in real life also not very much difference but yes there are differences let me make you very clear okay so do not use this information for your practical flying guys i would like to tell you this is just to clear your rt examination 
I always cover all the topics which are related to the exam only, okay? Not for the flying right now. So guys, uh, pilots should adapt the phraseology procedures in this chapter to their specific needs and to the time available. Pilots should seek assistance whenever there is any doubt as to the safety of a flight in this way. The risk of more serious situation developing can often be avoided as I told you earlier. A distress or urgency call should normally be made on the frequency in use at that time. Distress communication should be continued on this frequency until it is considered that the better assistance can be provided by changing to another frequency. So this is how we would be communicating with the current uh, ATC or with the different ATC. So we prefer our current ATC because we were in contact with that ATC. So that uh, ATC already, you know, has our almost information. So we can get proper assistance from that ATC. The frequency 1 to 1 decimal 5 megahertz has been designated the International Aeronautical Emergency Frequency. Although not all aeronautical stations maintain a continuous watch on that frequency. So these provisions are not intended to prevent the use of any other communications frequency if considered necessary or desirable, including the maritime mobile services, RTF calling frequencies. So as I was telling you, if the ground station called by the aircraft in distress or urgency does not reply, then any other ground station or aircraft shall reply and give whatever assistance possible, guys. A station replying to an aircraft in distress or urgency should provide such advice, information and instructions as is necessary to assist the pilot, guys. So whenever anybody would monitor Mayday call, definitely all are going to silent and uh, monitor that call that what can be the best possible way to help that young man who is in Mayday right now. So this is the idea behind Mayday and Pan Pan while we fly. If we are listening anything Mayday then definitely there is nothing more important than that call guys. Okay. So this is what was the basic about each and everything. All right, guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Here you go. Your checklist. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.